as partners. How do you guys manage to stay connected? Yeah, that's an interesting question. Um, Cause sometimes I don't like them, uh, but generally I do. <laughs> <laughs> don't like your brothers all the time. That's a real thing, you know. <laughs> I really felt like when you're trying to do something bigger than yourself, you cannot do it alone. I saw my plateau coming. Like, I could see it two or three years out. I was like, man, that's going to be as good as I can get for a while. So I knew I had to grow and develop. And so I knew I wanted some friends to go along with me. There's something really powerful about doing something significant and big with a group of people that you care about. And if I was going to be in business with anybody, it was going to be those two guys. Well, I always knew I was going to be in real estate. I just didn't know how. I actually thought I was going to be a doctor and a real estate investor. Those were the two things I was gonna do since I was like seven. I'm from a really small town in Mississippi and my cousin, he came down from St. Louis and I saw some of the cool things that he had, whether it was the car or a little bit of jewelry. And I say, what did you do? And he said, flipping homes. I'm like, okay, I guess that's what I have to do. So I'm gonna flip homes and I'm gonna be a laparoscopic surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> so my relationship with Ryan is one that has spanned for literally half my life. We've been friends for a long time. I've known him for 20 years now. We met fall of 2004 as freshmen in college. We used to throw parties together. That formed our first business relationship. Ryan's a visionary. He's the visionary. Ryan is a uh, disciple of the Red Book. Okay, so the... <laughs> No, but for real. In a lot of ways, I'm just following the blueprint and trying to just have high quality of each of the ingredients that's involved with it. So that's your sales, that's your admin, that's your lead generation tactics. He understands the details, he knows what's going on, but he doesn't let those details detract or take him away from the bigger goal and our bigger mission and the things we need to work on. I think some salespeople, I'm one of those included, can be really detail-oriented almost to a fault. Harrison is the most caring person ever. Man, he's a great guy, great family man. The way he shows up for his family, he does not believe in missing bath time and bedtime every night. And he always shows up for people. So I graduated college in uh, the summer of 2008 and graduated in May, got my license in July. Didn't really intend to get right into real estate, but I just remember that those first couple deals came from my college friends. And if I said, man, if there are this many people around me that need real estate help, I think there's more to this. When I came to KW, it was all about growth and getting the correct systems and models for my next chapter, which at that time was having administrative help of some kind and really leaning into leverage. I had found a bunch of success, but I wasn't extremely systematized in a scalable, systematized business, you know? And KW had that out the gate. Then it was the Red Book. I saw an immediate change in my time and in my mind and the way I thought about kind of growing business and opportunity. And it's something that I think other people can lean into. They just read the books and follow the systems and models. He has taught me to know once you get into these rooms, you're able to make an impact and also go back and share the knowledge that you've been given. My relationship with Keith is one that got strong and close quickly. And that is something that is not just unique to my relationship with him, that's kind of how he is with everybody. I've always been an entrepreneur at heart. I had my first LLC when I was 17 years old. I'm a country boy from Mississippi with big dreams. And my passion in life, honestly, is to be the bridge to help people get to where they want to go. So Keith was my client first. Picked him up with a bar, that's our little joke. And he told me when we first met, Hey Keith, I think you would be a fantastic real estate agent. When we came together as Coalition Properties Group, one of my goals was for us to get into Gary's Top 100. I looked and said, well, together, we can make this work. My business partner, Ryan, was very persistent with asking both me individually and Keith individually if we were interested in working together. And as he'll tell you, I rejected him a few times when he asked. Harrison fired me three times. He fired me as a friend. Uh, he fired me as an agent twice, and then I tried to join his team. He fired me. But as we started having separate conversations, we could really see a future. But our first year was one of a lot more trial and error than any other year. It was hectic. <laughs> we all kind of looked at each other, and we had natural roles. Harrison had great relationships. He was the former president of our local association. Then Keith, he wanted to be out in the field a lot. And he figured out a sales cycle system. He accelerated his learning from that. When I got into real estate and started working with Harrison and Ryan, they taught me, hey Keith, start to work on the business versus working in the business and see how more successful you will be by doing that. And they made me better salesperson. And we were fortunate because we tried things and they worked. We went from 185 units. That was right around 60 65 million, which is, you know, not too bad. To 305, from 305 to 330 units. And that was about 140 million. 
Keller Williams shows us how to give where we live. That's a core tenet of what I've learned since being at the brokerage. We've implemented it as a team. The mission statement of Coalition Properties Group is to be the bridge to our community for all things real estate, lifestyle, and wealth building. The lifestyle and wealth building elements are some of my favorite parts of what we get to do because we help a lot of friends and family in a different way. The most important thing about that is how can we help our clients to accomplish anything that they need in the community. Call us to see who do we know to help them get to where they want to go faster. One of the benefits of having a higher unit business where we get to interact with 1,800 people over these last five years is we have clients and friends and family that are actually doing great work in the communities where we live. Last year, the DC Dream Center was an outstanding organization that we were able to partner with. So it's a place where we get to do the most business and actually help with transactions, but then help the next generation, which is youth and families in that community with some of the basic things that they need. And so most people come to us for the real estate and they stay for the lifestyle and wealth building, is what I say. OwnerCon is one of our events. Paid event, by the way. We have speakers where so they come and speak about how they can protect the wealth that they already have and then how can they increase their wealth through building up the current equity, whether that's through landlording, fix and flips, investing as a passive investor. That led us to syndicated investments and multifamily investments. So we were buying multifamily properties through group economics. That means that we were pulling all our funds together. So some people say, oh man, you guys bought so much. It's like, yes, and we're buying it with our people. I can't buy this property by myself, but together we can all buy it and we can all benefit from it. Hey. That's been at the core of kind of our community strategy. It's like giving the keys to, you know, how all of this works to folks that did not have ready access to them before. And we're building a successful business along the way. The impact that we've had together is the most rewarding because there's no way we could have had this type of impact on the real estate community and the community in general, individually. It doesn't have to be crazy, over the top everything. You can have something really, really large where we're buying 100 units together. Or it can be as simple as buying a home where you're letting returning citizens come through. All of these actions matter. And just being at KW and being thankful for the relationship that we've built over the years that has helped us get to where we are now.